I'm Cyrus Hagee. I was the past president of the Portland Rotary. Uh, Portland Rotary came up with the idea to do this clock project as a way for us to give back to the community. We were looking for a project that would be something that would be visible, that people would recognize Rotary for, and this became the project. Uh, I had a chance, I have a tenant named Scott Nash, who is the illustration instructor, instructor at Maine College of Art, and, and I said to Scott, I got this clock project, what do we do? And he says, I've got these artists, and they're going to design artwork to put on the clock. So if you remember last winter, we kept changing the clock faces to draw attention to it, and it actually was so successful, it actually solicited unrequested donations, right? uh, maybe $5,000 was mailed to us without even my getting to go knock on their door. Thank you very much for doing that. <laughs> so we did the yard, we drew attention to the clock, we raised the money, the clock is here. It's a very interesting clock. Inside is not a motor that turns the hands like a normal clock. Right inside here is a digital transmitter that reads the GPS network every minute and then set, adjust the hands according to the GPS network. So come daylight savings, it will correct itself, or going off daylight savings will correct itself. If the power goes out, by 12 o'clock at noon the next day, it resets itself. So it's virtually maintenance free. I, it'll be a long, long time till we need to go to Portland Downtown District to dip into the maintenance fund. <laughs> um, <coughs> but the most amazing thing was getting the chance to work with the city. And we've got some gentlemen here from Public Services. I'd like to give them a round of applause. They, they were able to, with virtually no instruction from us, translate the plans, put a new foundation in, put a base that uh, the plows won't hit. And when we brought the clock in, we swung it in the position and set exactly down perfectly. We tightened the bolts swung the clock head on top, and then we went, oh no, there's a ring on the top. How do we get it off? And in comes traffic with their boom truck and takes it off. Uh, a week later, we ran wires over from that panel there and had the clock activated. What a team effort and much, much appreciated. It's a real pleasure to work with you gentlemen. Charlie Poole from Union Wharf came up with his boom truck to swing it into place. It was sort of everybody was here having a good time. Plus, we had lots of fruit sellers and veggies being sold on the same day. <laughs> so I'd like to just briefly recognize the donors, uh, just so say thank you. Obviously, the city of Portland was one of the major players in the foundation work. Uh, Portland Downtown District for the maintenance, Key Bank, uh, S. Donald Sussman and the Press Herald, uh, Maine Community Foundation, Drummond and Drummond, J.B. Brown, Portland Museum of Art. That was a real fun ask. Um, I was asked about that the other day, how I did that, uh, since they always ask for money and never give it away. <laughs> uh, Portland Rotary, Justin Alphon, Jensen Baird, Gardner Henry, uh, Bobby Monks, Harry Sawyer, and Nan Sawyer, who obviously passed away recently, who would love to be here. So give her a nice thought. Alessandro Arno, uh, Longfellow Books, was here day in, day out, providing us a ladder so we could get up and change the clock faces and use their storeroom. Uh, Joseph Powers, uh, UBS, uh, somebody named Anonymous, Bernstein Sure, Freddie, oh, okay. <laughs> Freddie Flaherty, Old Port Wine Shop, David Snow, Norman Nelson, and thank you very much for your donations. We were able to raise the full twenty-five thousand dollars to Blue Clock, and without your donations, we couldn't have done it. Now, in honor of this project, I have prepared. token to give to the city of Portland. It is a golden hex wrench. Since the clock does not have a key, I thought, why not have a golden hex wrench? So uh, to Mr. Mayor, uh, here is the key to the clock. <laughs> well, thank you. I, I want to thank Cyrus, the Rotary, all the other people uh, that contributed. You know, things like this happen in the city of Portland because we have partnerships and because we have all these people in the community that step up and say we want to make a difference and they want to focus on something. And this is an iconic structure in this part of Portland and it deserves this kind of attention and it deserves this type of renovation. 
and we're just tremendously happy uh, that the Rotary and all the other civic organizations and groups stepped up uh, to make this happen. And, and I do have a key to the city uh, that I give out to people all the time. This is the first time I've gotten a key to the clock. Uh, that uh, is actually a wrench, but uh, we'll make sure that we put it in the appropriate place, and if we ever need to uh, use it, uh, we'll be able to. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mr. Manager, thank you very much. Thank you all for coming, and that's uh, that. I'll be to be to be to. That's all, folks. <laughs>